One of the most popular and rich looking finishes for hand tooled leather is the antique stain and finish. There are many different products available to do this. Let's take a few minutes to work with a few of them. I've got uh, three different products here I want to demonstrate to you for use on these three pieces of leather. One is the EcoFlow Gel Antique. Another is the EcoFlow Highlighter Finish. And the other one is the All-in-One Antique and Stain. To this piece of carved leather, I, I would like to use the Gel Antique. Now, notice on my table here, I have covered it with brown paper so that I don't get this stuff all over the table or my marble. And I have here, I'm going to apply this with a piece of sheep wool. Now, when you, when you cut sheep wool, you're going to notice that uh, there are loose fibers on there. So you need to get those off of there so that they don't get mixed in with your finish and go on to your project. Also notice that I'm wearing a pair of uh, rubber gloves, so I will put a liberal amount of the antique on the sheep wool and I'll just rub it. Notice I'm doing it in a circular motion and I want to make sure I get it down in all of the all of the tool impressions and cuts. Now, I'll make sure I got good coverage. I immediately take a paper towel. I've made it into like a, a, a pad. And I wipe it, the uh, excess off of the surface. Now, if it's a little streaked, especially here where there's a, a bit of plain leather, Take a damp sponge and you can remove more of the antique with the damp sponge. Now, if you're still not happy with the way it looks, this seems to be a little lighter here. Let's put some more antique on there. And we'll come back with the paper towel and rub. Now we've got a much more even coat than we had before. And this is a really good looking, uh, we need to put a little bit more along this edge. And it's a really nice looking piece of leather. And this is what our piece looks like after we have applied the gel antique. For this next piece, I'm going to apply the highlighter stain. Now this one, I'm going to apply with a damp sponge. It's just a matter of getting it on the sponge. And here again, a liberal amount is good. And we rub it in. In this case, I'm using a saddle tan color versus the uh, brown that I used on the first piece. Here again, I'm making sure that I get it rubbed down in all of the uh, tool impressions and cuts. And now we will immediately take a paper towel and wipe. Notice I've made it into a pad so that I just basically wipe the surface and do not get down in. And you can see sometimes, like here, I've missed a few spots. And I always come back and put more on and then immediately wipe.
And as before, you can come back if you want with a damp sponge and lightly skim over the surface. And this is how it looks after we have applied the highlighter finish in the saddle tan color. For this uh, small belt strip, I'm going to use the, the all-in-one finish. This has got uh, antique color and a finish all-in-one. And I'm going to use a, uh, a dauber and uh, normally uh, you could use a dauber, you could use a sponge. Dauber's kind of nice here because it's a narrow piece and it's a little easier to control the product as it goes on. Here again, make sure you get it down in all of the tool impressions. And be liberal with it. And now, once again, we take our paper towel and we wipe. Not only is this a fine product, it is very easy to use. Now we can just put this aside to dry and whenever we want, we can come back and shine it up. Now as I wipe this off, I can double check. I see a little bit of place here that I missed. Put some more in there and wipe some more. And that's it, our piece is finished. We'll wait for it to dry and then we can just buff it with a soft cloth or some sheep wool.